Hi, and welcome back to the Alaska Man Cave. Today, we have a Ruger rifle sitting on the bench that we need to put some Cerakote on. So I'm gonna go through all the steps necessary to get this coating applied properly. So let's get started. In order for Cerakote to bond properly with the firearm, you need to make sure that all of the oils Dirt, grease, everything is stripped completely clean. If there's anything trapped in the cracks or crevices that it'll leach out during the, the cooking process. And anytime that there's foreign material, oils, or whatever underneath the coating, it won't adhere properly. So let's make sure we do a good thorough job cleaning up. So let's go over to the solvent tank. This is my solvent tank. I made it from a piece of four inch two steel where I cut the top top side off and I made a lid. Um, I fill it with acetone and I will soak all the gun parts in this acetone for at least an hour in order for it to really work into all the tight spots. Now with all the parts in the solvent we'll go ahead and put the lid back on so we don't evaporate too much of our acetone and we'll let that sit for about an hour. It's been about an hour, so we're going to start removing some of the smaller parts out and uh, get them into the blasting process. Now we got a whole tray full of parts, we'll get into the blaster. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go through and take our smallest parts and we're going to put it in the shake and blast can, making uh, blasting the smaller pieces real easy. So mainly that'll just be the screws and anything that's kind of hard to hang on to when you got those big, big blast gloves go on. So we'll just put our sandblast gun into the hole, blast and shake. Takes, takes a few minutes, but they blast them out real nice. Now when we do our barrel, we don't want to get any sand down into the chamber or into the barrel. So what we're going to do we're going to find a rubber plug that'll fit in there just perfectly. It's hard to see it in there, but we do have the uh, we do have the chamber plugged off, and now we'll find one that'll fit down into the end of the barrel. Now we can go into the sandblast. Now that our parts are done being blasted, we need to rack them. And for that, the smaller parts, I have these hooks that have the alligator clips on them. They work great for grabbing onto the smaller parts. So we'll go ahead and we will rack onto all the small pieces. The reason we got to rack them is because with, with Cerakote, it doesn't set up until put some heat on it. So if you touch it at any point after it's been sprayed and before it's cured, it'll damage the paint. The rest of these parts will be able to put on, on hooks. Now that we've found a way to rack all of our parts, the next thing they do is they go into the oven. All right, we've had our parts gassing out now for about a half an hour in the oven. We're gonna pull those out and see if there's any, uh, any oil that's leached out. The main culprit will be on the barrel where it attaches to the receiver. And it's clean, this is ready to paint. So we'll go ahead and pull out the rest of our parts, get them cooled down, and we'll start working on getting the paint ready. 
For this particular job, we're gonna be using black. So we just gotta sh shake this up really well. For this rifle, I'm gonna mix up about 36 milliliters of black. We ended up with about 37 milliliters. Now we're gonna add three milliliters of hardener. That looks good. Now when we pour this into our spray gun, we're gonna to wanna to pour it through a, a filter. So I'm gonna start out by spraying everything that I'm gonna to have to spray twice. So what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna spray them, I'm gonna cure them in the oven for a few minutes, and then I'm gonna take them out and, and move them so anywhere that the clamp was touching has got a, a good layer of paint. best situation without having it in a booth but I haven't finished building my booth yet that's coming up here in the next few days I'll get that built and uh, exhausted out through the wall anyway so let's get started on uh, on painting this barrel pieces of one rifle in the oven. Now we'll let that cook. Won't be too long and we'll have that one finished. Well there you have it. We got this rifle finished up. It's looking good. It's ready to go deliver. And we'll be uh, doing some more Cerakote again soon. I got another one in the solvent tank right now. If you like the content in the videos, please uh, give me a like. Maybe some comments of what I can do to make the video is more interesting for you guys. It's a learning curve for all of us. And like I said, with a little bit of practice, a little bit of patience, and some persistence, we can get just about anything done here in the Alaska Man Cave.